the gas holder is fabricated from a tank having a capacity of 750 liters. The upper part of the tank should be cut like this. Then invert the tank and using the 12.5 mm barrel piece cut a corresponding hole into its base like this. Fit the 12.5 cm male adapter into this hole in such a way that the threaded part projects outwards. Fit the galvanized iron elbow on the threads of the adapter. And screw in the gas cock like this. The joint between the elbow and the tank should be sealed with epoxy adhesive like this. We have now the gas holder ready. We have so far seen how to fabricate a gas plant with an external feed pipe. The feed pipe can also be fitted inside the gas holder tank. For this purpose, the mouth of the smaller tank is cut in this manner. The cut edges are to be filed smooth. This tank is to be perforated at this place. The hole should be marked by placing an adapter at this place. And the perforation is made in this manner. Fit a PVC male adapter in this hole and secure it with the help of a check nut. Now lay the tanks on its side. And cut a hole exactly opposite the existing one and fit a female adapter into it like this. Seal the joint with an epoxy adhesive. Now cut a length of PVC pipe exactly equal to the distance between the two holes and fit the pipe between the two adapters. This pipe would serve as the inlet pipe. There is no need to fit an inlet pipe to the fermenter vessel. We now have the inlet pipe fitted into the gas holder. The biogas plant can be installed at any convenient place but this place should receive direct sunlight. Clean and level the ground and place this large fermenter vessel on it. Mix about 40 to 50 kilograms of dung and mix it with about the same quantity of water. All the extraneous matter in the dung should be removed. Break the lumps of the dung and make a nicely blended slurry and fill the same into the fermenter tank. One should also add to the fermenter a couple of buckets full of slurry from an existing biogas plant. Fill the tank with water. Then place the gas holder tank into the larger fermenter tank after opening this gas cock. 
After the gas holder has sunk halfway into the gas holder tank, close the gas cock. If the gas holder sinks into the fermenter even after shutting up the gas cock, it is an indication of the joints leaking air. The joints should be tested with the help of soap water. A leaky joint would produce soap bubbles like this. If the gas holder remains floating on the fermenter at the same level for more than 10 to 12 hours, it means that all the joints are airtight. In that case, one should open the gas cock again and allow the gas holder to sink completely into the fermenter vessel. Once the system starts producing biogas, the accumulated biogas lifts the gas holder out of the fermenter. After the gas holder starts rising, open the gas cock and hold a lighted candle near it. If the gas burns, one can connect the biogas plant to the gas stove. The gas holder often tilts to one side, but this can be prevented by providing it with appropriate supports in the form of bamboo poles, iron rods, or a guard fabricated by using pipes. The fermenter tank can be made from galvanized iron sheet of 24 to 26 gauge thickness. One can also fabricate the fermenter with the help of bricks and cement. For good performance for your biogas tanks, you should abide by the following instructions. The feedstock must be finely ground or pulped. If the feedstock is not powdered or pulped, it may cause choking of the feed pipe. Start adding feedstock only after the gas plant has started to produce combustible gas. This gas should burn with a clean blue flame. Initially, introduce only 300 to 400 grams of feedstock into the biogas plant. Increase the feedstock quantity gradually. The stretch of the gas pipe between the gas plant and the stove should be straight. If there is any slack in it, water would accumulate in the slack portion of the pipe and block the movement of the gas. If the gas pipe gets choked due to water, disconnect the gas pipe and remove the water like this. If it becomes necessary to drain the tank for cleaning, first open the gas cock and then open the ball valve provided at the base of the fermenter. The gas cock should be opened very gently and the slurry within the fermenter should be let off in a small trickle. Do not open the ball valve fully. The rate of biogas generation depends upon the weather. The gas formation is faster in summer. So the newly started biogas plant would start producing biogas within just 3 to 4 days. Whereas during winter it may take up to 15 days to start producing biogas.